Ada introduces DLSS 3, a new AI that generates entirely new frames rather than just pixels. DLSS 3 allows the Ada GPU to render the game at a much higher frame rate than the CPU is able to compute the game. What FSR 3 is, in case you're not sure, is fluid motion frames technology. And what that does is it literally generates frames for you in your game, which can double and in some cases triple your frame rate. It's going to work on Radeon 7000 series cards, Radeon 6000 series cards, and even older cards. How's that? But you can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? Doubling and tripling your frame rate on any card that can run it, basically. OK, but we didn't stop there. It's fidelity affects super resolution. And AMD cares about all gamers. So we enabled FSR 3 not just to work on Radeon graphics cards, to work on any graphics card. Everybody should get the benefit of frame generation of fluid motion frames. It shouldn't be reserved just for the small select few of people that can buy the latest generation graphics card. That's not right for gamers. Almost? I got one surprise. Oh, you got more? Oh, yeah, I got one surprise for everybody, yeah. So, FSR 3 is pretty cool, obviously, right? But so we're going to put it in 10, 15, 20, 50 games. You know, our competitor has their frame generation in like 50 games or so. Wouldn't you like fluid motion frames in thousands of games? Yeah. How about every DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game you play, we can double and triple your frame rate. Wouldn't you like that? Yeah. Pretty much any DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game running the AMD Adrenaline HyperRx software is going to get the benefits of fluid motion frames, frame interpolation, and generation. Boom.